Welcome back to Low Level Trim. On this video, I'm going to talk about the Pulsar LT. And the Pulsar LT does a number of things. Uh, it will actually enable you to change the speedometer for a change in your tire size. That was the main reason I got the Pulsar LT. I had a larger or added a larger tire to the truck. I had and uh, the dealer would not make any changes to the speedometer to recalibrate it for this change in tire size and since the tire was about four and a half percent larger that would mean a four and a half percent deviation in your speedometer and so it would indicate that the uh, speed was actually less than you were actually going so I wanted to have it as accurate as possible and I looked for any a module that would do this and I saw that the Pulsar LT would change the tire size or change recalibrate the speedometer for a change in tire size but also it would uh, re uh, you could re I guess adjust the throttle response you could uh, increase the throttle response you could also permanently or not but uh, not permanently but while the module is in place uh, have the auto stop turned off and you could also disable the dynamic fuel management. So those were several things that I wanted to have the ability to do. This, the Pulsar LT uh, fits right in to the, uh, I guess it's an inline module that goes in between uh, this module. And it really is just temporary. It doesn't make any permanent changes to the computer and you can take it out and uh, it will not show that it was used. So there are no concerns with uh, voiding any, any type of warranty uh, by doing this. And uh, so it's really easy to install. And then what I do though, if I take it to the dealer for service, I will remove it. It just takes a few minutes to, to remove it. And when you put it back, it does remember all the, uh, I guess, changes that you'd made and it goes right back to how you had it set so you don't have to reset it each time you take it uh, on and off so here is the install uh, the first recommendation is to disconnect your negative battery terminal once you've done that or, uh, opening the module is easy if you can see here click on the red tab up here it click and then you can see that that uh, allows this wheel to spin then at the corner you will press in to the corner and then it will allow it to slide up okay so there we've disconnected it so basically the pulsar lt here you go comes with the connectors and this will fit right in so first i'll connect the module to the connectors should click in all right and that's clicked in all right so I have already added the velcro and I'm going to set this on top of the air filter box okay so next we will take this section we will put this on only one way to go put down and then make sure you put the air tab to hold it in place and the next thing is a little bracket that they send with it so I'll put that in the back Okay, and this will fit on the, there's a nut holding the box on, so I'm going to remove this nut, 10 millimeter socket. While I'm doing this, I have the Pulsar LT, I think it costs about, give or take, about $500, so it is not cheap but the number of things that it will do make it worthwhile. The main thing, 
adjusting the the tire size or the speedometer for the tire size to have that as accurate as possible. Everything is done control wise inside the truck at the sorry. the cruise control buttons inside. So it's very easy to do. Um, uh, the instruction manual is very, uh, very complete. It tells you everything you need to do to make any of these changes. So, got that in. I'll tighten that up. Like I say, real easy to do. And then if you want to take it off when you go to the dealership or get it serviced, real quick to do that as well. We're not too tight. Tight. There we go. All right. Next, put this one in. Click down. It's wheel spun. There. All right, and then kind of just stick it right back on the little holder. All right, so that is really it. It is installed. You can go back, reconnect your battery terminal, get power back. And that is the installation. Uh, it does a lot. I can say there's more than, uh, than I just mentioned. I'll go through the manual. Speed limiter. Of course, you can adjust between 82 and 140 miles per hour. You can adjust your maximum speed. Uh, you can do the TPMS, adjusting the TMS, TPMS to inflate number, the minimum and maximum values. I've not used that. I didn't, uh, it really doesn't seem to be necessary. But there you have the tire size. That's the, uh, you input the stock. So you're going to have your, you put in first stock size that the speedometer was calibrated with and then you put in your new modified tire size although the first time I did it I I did take the GPS and went out on the highway to check and it was still off so I did uh, go back and adjusted the new tire size a couple times until I could tell by the GPS that the speedometer was reading accurately um, more than likely that it wasn't perfect to begin with and so therefore use your GPS. I got out on the highway, you know, to go about 70 on a flat uh, straight stretch and of course check the GPS versus the truck speedometer and then went back after stopping, adjusted a couple times until it was uh, right on and so that was easy to do. Uh, you can also adjust your uh, axle ratio haven't done that don't have the need for that and then you have the auto start stop disable that's uh just really easy to do with the instructions just turn really that off and don't have to worry about it each time you start the truck it doesn't come back on it's uh it's say off for the whole time that you have the pulsar lt installed and the same with the D uh, dynamic fuel management disable easy to do you can just turn that off and so that will be off and as I said, when you take it to the dealer or you're going to get it serviced and you don't want uh, that to interfere with any, any computer uh, work on the truck, you just take it off, remove the module, and it goes right back to the factory settings. And then when you reinstall it after service, it goes back to the settings that you had uh, had or had set so really you know takes two seconds to take it off and, and on and I think it's definitely worth it um, like I said I didn't mention also I've played with the uh, throttle response uh, it, I really don't didn't really need to adjust it but yeah it does work it, it, you know your throttle response will be very uh, I guess you call it um, <laughs> very fast but uh, I guess anywhere from a, you know, 15% less than stock 
I guess, all the way up to 65% over in the stock throttle response. So that really isn't uh, something I needed it for. But the main thing, the tire uh, adjustment for modified tire size. And yeah, definitely worth it, $500. And uh, I would recommend it from Range Technology, the uh, inline control module. Pulsar LT, of course this is the 5.3 liter V8. I know they make them for the 6.2 and they make them for the, the diesel engines. So if uh, you need to make any of those changes, invest in the, the Pulsar LT. Thanks for watching.